what is going on everybody my name is pete and you guys are watching pay to drive and pay to drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video hope you're all doing fantastic out there ladies and gentlemen if you drive for apps like grubhub doordash uber eats or any of the others you are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy so get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever i post something new and if you wouldn't mind it hit that like button down below it just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment saying liked l-i-k-e-d just so i know you did it and let's jump on into this so i made a video talking about that DoorDash Safe Dash, where they're partnering up with ADT security systems to help drivers feel safer uh, if in case they're in crisis out on a delivery, right? Well, some drivers really liked it. And as always, there are a lot of drivers slash dashers that did not really go so crazy over it and feel like it's a waste of time. I did find this article uh, kind of as like a response to it. So listen to this, gig workers rising statement on DoorDash's new safety features. Uh, it was reported that DoorDash is adding safety features to help protect their drivers, in quotations. Uh, the reporting mentions in passing the assault and murder of DoorDash workers who remain unnamed. So come on now, let's go to the next page. Come on, Pelican. All right. DoorDash is boasting its safety features to protect drivers, but when DoorDash workers are uh, assaulted and killed on the job anyways, DoorDash abandons workers and their families. DoorDash leaves them with no financial support. But of course, that's because we're independent contractors, we're not employees. 43-year-old Petra Roden was a mother delivering food for DoorDash in Patterson, New Jersey. Her brother Rick said that music was Petra's life passion. After completing a delivery one night in October 2019, Petra was shot, her car crashed, and she died. DoorDash responded, We are deeply saddened by the loss of Petra Roden, a Patterson area dasher, and our thoughts are with her family, friends, and loved ones. We have reached out to her family to offer our full support to them during this difficult time. 56-year-old Yusuf Ozgar was an immigrant from Turkey, a father of two. Yusuf delivered for DoorDash at night to make extra money for his family, which a lot of people do. The day after Christmas in 2019, he was picking up a delivery at a local Denny's. When he was shot, he later died. DoorDash responded, we are deeply saddened by the loss of Yusuf uh, Osger, a Manassas uh, area dasher. Our thoughts are with his family, friends, and loved ones. We are reaching out to his family to offer our full support during this difficult time. Oh my God, no, they use the same message. They just change the information. Oh, that's horrible. That's terrible. Oh my God. This April, Francisco Villalava Vitinio was shot and killed. Francisco's cousin says Francisco was delivering for DoorDash when he was killed. Francisco's family has screenshots of notifications from DoorDash as proof. DoorDash denies it. DoorDash still responded. We are deeply saddened by the loss of Mr. Vitinio. Our thoughts are with his family, friends, and loved ones. We've reached out to Mr. Vitinio's family to offer our support. I mean, the point of this here is they're showing that DoorDash doesn't really care, you know, and, and why would they? And that's the sad part is they're just literally using the same canned response, just altering the, the person's name and where they work, you know, or where they live. That's terrible, man. And even in this one too, you know, in August, a father of four, an immigrant from Nigeria, Noel uh, no, uh, Noku, was killed on a DoorDash job. DoorDash responded, we are deeply saddened. Our hearts go out to the Dasher's loved ones. We are actively working to get in touch with the Dasher's family to extend our full support. After their workers are murdered on the job, it appears that DoorDash's PR team copy and paste templates, press statements about how saddened they are, merely swapping out the name of the of, of the recently murdered worker. In that statement, the company says it will support the worker's family. We have yet to hear from any murdered DoorDash worker's family that has received any financial support from DoorDash. 
a message for DoorDash. Workers who deliver for you deserve far more than a template message when they are murdered while making money for you. Their families deserve far more support than your empty words. Your safety features mean nothing until they actually keep workers safe. Your hearts go out to the loved ones of murdered workers, meaning nothing to those who are grieving with no financial support. Workers deserve and demand better. Woo! Yikes! I have seen DoorDash blasted before, but never like this. All right? And the fact is this, okay? I guess DoorDash is trying to do something with this safe dash thing, but, you know, if they're not helping out financially these people that are losing loved ones when they're out doing deliveries. I understand they're not employees, but they are partnered with DoorDash, you know, and it's just, it's extremely upsetting to hear this kind of stuff, guys. So in the chat, in the comments, give me your thoughts about what this article said. Do you think this is 100% accurate that DoorDash just doesn't care or do you feel differently? Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you guys ever uh, have anything you want to share with me, an article, a story, a question, a comment, a topic, whatever, send it over to me, email it, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. And, um, and anyone who signs up as a patron is my way of saying thank you as I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm going to do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, John Birchfield, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Haviland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Best, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell. Um, let's see here. John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you guys. Really appreciate every single one of you. If you guys want to check it out and sign up, links in the description of the pin top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be you. Let's find out. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone. And uh, that link is in the description down below. Just uh, scroll down and click the link where it says Get the Free Gas app. And from there, uh, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone or tablet or device you use. And then from there, what you do is you go... Um, uh, to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today, my friends. And uh, of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, check out paytodrivestore.com. Uh, we've got lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. And uh, yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, leave, leave a comment saying END208, END208. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, later.